Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about uh, transitions, uh, how to use them, where you put them, and which ones to use for video videos and for picture videos. I'm also going to uh, tell you which transitions are my favorite and most used ones, and I'm also going to show you some examples. So let's get started. When you have your program opened, you can find your transition window right here. But if you can't find your transitions uh, window in your program, click on view and search for your transitions and click on it so it's gonna appear somewhere. You can also uh, move it elsewhere if you want to, but I like to uh, keep it next to my video effects. Alright, so you might not have all the transitions that I have, but uh, for that please check out the description box below. And the first question is where you put transitions, right? So normally you put transitions between two clips or two pictures. I already have two uh, pictures and clips prepared right here. So first of all, you are going to need to uh, move one of the uh, pictures right onto the other. And you, can, you will see here that it counts the frames of how long that transition is. So what I find the best is uh, to have at least eight frame long transition and uh, I mostly use from 8 frames to 12 frames and you are gonna make uh, two pictures or videos meet where the uh, beats are you can uh, place your transitions onto the beat or onto the vocals or instruments like piano or the guitar I'm gonna show you later what I mean about this but uh, when you have uh, moved one of the pictures onto the other one, you can now place any transitions that you want. For example, you can put spin on it and just drag it onto the um, X here. And it already put uh, the transition there for you. You can also change the settings of the transition if you played it back and you didn't really like it, like um, how I don't want it to shine this bright. You are going to need to click on this icon right here which says Transitions Properties. Click on it and uh, now you can change the settings. So I want to um, make the light to zero so I'm just going to move it right to the zero and now you can now you just changed um, the transition properties another useful thing is to um, make your own presets which means that you are not gonna have to make um, a transition again and again because you can uh, save it and then reuse it later like you can see it here the first four are the um, default uh, transitions and these two are the ones I saved you can see it by the names of them because I never name them normally and you can do this by um, uh, let's see another one let's see this one just drag it on the uh, the transition and uh, if you want it to be for example not 10 divisions but only 4 or 5 and if you don't want the light, drag it to the left and you can save this uh, transition right now what you need to do is click right here type in whatever you want and then press on the save preset icon right here and you will see that it has appeared in your uh, transition window and you can also delete a preset if you don't want to use it because you don't like it by clicking on this delete preset uh, icon and now it has disappeared from uh, here. When it comes to using transitions, you might not use the same transitions for your video videos and your picture videos. What I like to use for a transition between video clips are, I'm gonna show you right here, I really like the new blue uh, motion blends. Cross effect is really good with video clips, especially if you want to make the video clips blur right where they meet and if it's too much you can adjust the settings so it's not that harsh and always pay attention to the uh, section where you can select which of the two clips you want the transition to apply to so for example right here it sets both so you can see both of them are blurred but if you uh, select the source only one of the clips is gonna be blurred. Most of the time I like to use both because uh, it looks nicer I think and it uh, makes the video flow better. 
For pictures, I use a lot more. I already have prepared a little sequence right here. It's just the same two pictures repeating, but I'm gonna show you which are my favorite transitions for picture videos. And let's start on the top of the list. I really like uh, 3D blinds and I mostly use just vertical or horizontal flip. So let's put this one right here. Let's um, use zoom. I really like zoom too but you need to pay attention because with zoom I think it's better to uh, make the transitions only five or six frames along and uh, it's better if the transition ends where the marker are so it's not uh, in the middle like with all the other transitions but uh, it should rather end where the marker is so it arrives to that point so it's better to have the marker where you can see the beat is right here so here's the marker and the two clips uh, meet in the middle wiggle is also good with pictures and I'm gonna put it right here if you see this message always click on cancel motion blends are really cool for uh, picture videos as well so let's use one for this it's a roll but for a roll um, you need at least 8 frames because otherwise it looks kind of choppy and really fast. Let's use shake and I'm just using my custom made presets because uh, I know uh, they work but you're gonna need to just um, play with them and see which ones you like the most. I use um, this one a lot this is called multiply images this is just a zooming in transition but uh, sometimes I need to adjust it so it's not that harsh and or not that fast push is cool but push is the same as um, zoom so uh, it should be shorter than the normal transitions about uh, six frames long and uh, it should end right at the marker so the marker shouldn't be in the middle of the transition squeeze is the same as push and it's a similar transition itself and I'm just gonna end this with a spin effect I'm gonna use this one that I really like so here you can see it's the same as I was talking about earlier when you can select uh, which uh, of the two clips you want the transitions to apply to and uh, in this case I always use transparent uh, because that goes for both of the clips all right so let's play it back now if it looks good or it looks totally awful as i said when you edit a video you have a lot of options to where you put your transitions when you edit and most of the time i edit on the beat and i'm gonna show you a few examples from my previous videos and this first example is when you edit onto the beat So as you could see and hear this song is pretty easy to edit to because the beats are on every 15th frame and I'm gonna zoom in so as, as you can see on the uh, audio track the distance between two beats are mostly 15 or 16 frames and uh, I placed my transitions right onto the beats so where the markers are keep in mind that when you edit onto the beats you don't have to change a picture or choose a new video clip on every uh, beat you can just have the picture uh, longer and for example place uh, a flashing image or a flashing overlay onto this uh, marker right here so the next way you can choose your uh, transitions is to follow the vocals or the lyrics of a song I mostly use this when I edit to uh, slower songs and when I edit with video clips and here I'm gonna show you a few seconds of this kind of editing So as you could hear, I changed the uh, clips when a new word came uh, in the songs and I also named it, uh, named the markers right here so you can see what I mean and you can name or rename a marker by right clicking on it and uh, click rename and now you can just type in something you want and then press enter and now you can see what that marker stands for so as you can see the lyrics said shell I say and I chose a uh, free clips for this and the clips uh, changed when the word came in the song 
The next way you can edit is, for example, edit on to the instruments in the song and I do this with the same kind of songs as this. So, for example, you can pay attention to the piano or the guitar and that can give you the places where you want to have your transitions and here's the quick example of that. And here you can see that I placed my markers right when the keys on the piano have been uh, pressed down. So you can see where I first edited this uh, piece. I changed my clips right on the piano keys. And the uh, last one I'm going to show you is when you edit to both the uh, vocals and both to the instruments. My With this, I named the markers where I added onto the vocal. So, take my whole life. So, those are the points where I paid attention to the lyrics. And these other markers are where uh, I paid attention to the piano. So, you can see that the clips are changing a lot faster. So, you can uh, choose either of these four options or uh, all of them or you can just do it however you want it but it always looks really nice when it shows that you paid attention to the beats and the vocals because it helps your video flow better these were the things i wanted to tell you about transitions but if you have any more questions left please uh, leave them in the comment section below and i hope you are going to check out the next tutorial as well bye guys